from the things that you want to have on your website, uh, on your homepage, I would try and encourage people to get an opt-in. You'll find a lot of people, if you install Google Analytics on your website, uh, and you most definitely should be, uh, if you install Google Analytics on your website, you'll find a lot of people hit your website and bounce off and never come back again. Uh, so what can you do to uh, grab that information? The most important, valuable asset in any business, uh, and all of the greats will tell you, it's the database. Making sure that you collect a database. Most businesses don't collect databases. The, the money is in the list and marketing to that list and the relationship that you have with that list. So you want to make sure that you build up a list, treat them like absolute gold, look after them, uh, provide them good value and service. Don't always be pitch, 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 pitch. Give them good value as well so they enjoy being uh, as part of that list. And that's why on the homepage I like to do what I can to make sure that I grab them, uh, pull them into my funnel, get them into the top of my funnel, and then I can introduce them to this stuff later. Because it takes time for me to bond with them. So... That's what I do on the home page. Next, you'll probably want a services page, some sort of page that lists everything that you offer. Um, you, you want to get quite clear on here's what it is that I have to offer for you. Um, then uh, you also want to have some sort of testimonials page. Uh, you know, like what, what clients are saying about you. I mean, we do uh, a lot of web video, like, I mean, just getting some of the different clients. I'll go out and chat with them uh, and, and, and we'll do videos at, at their place of business, I'll go out to them and have them talk about the results that they got when doing business with us. So what can you do to make sure that you've got testimonials covered? Um, then, now this is the new component. You might not have this because you've got, you'll start off with just services. Over time though, you'll start to think info product. How can you add info product in? And if sometimes info product might not quite fit. It works for most businesses, but some businesses it, it might not work. Uh, if that's the case, what what products can you sell? It doesn't even necessarily need to be info product. I like info product because there's such fantastic margin in it. But uh, what maybe you can sell equipment or you know extra product. Um, you know maybe it's I don't know. It depends on depends on your business. There's always something additional that you can sell. And the idea of having these additional products that don't require your time to deliver them. That's really what the the aim is. And then that's that's what we have under self study. Um, then about, um, you want to have a, t a page that tells your story. You know, most, I try and really position myself uh, a little bit differently. Uh, you really want to avoid being the me too type marketer. Uh, like uh, here, what have I got at the start? We could say Melbourne SEO Services is the leading Australian search engine optimization company providing services tailored to your clients' unique business needs. We assist them across the biz uh, business sectors from small to large corporations, blah, 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 blah. You've heard all this before, right? Uh, and then, uh, but our story isn't quite so typical. We never set out to become one of Australia's leading SEO companies. It kind of just happened. And then I go through and tell that story that I told you guys at the start, this idea that we started out in the, uh, in the stock market space. And it was only because people started coming to us saying, how are you doing what you're doing, that we ended up uh, falling into the SEO space. You have a story inside you that you don't even know exists or you might not even necessarily appreciate. Um, if, if you go back to when, when did you first get interested in whatever your business is about, what made you start it, what, you know, where, where were you having issues? Like maybe that story is kind of like you were having the same problems that your perfect target market was having and uh, you couldn't find a business that you were happy with that provided a good enough solution. So you thought, screw it, I'm going to go out there and create my own business. Uh, and then you set it up and from humble beginnings, you know, I started off and I did it in my bedroom and, um, you know, started out very small and over time we started to grow and more and more people started to hear about how great we are and we started to build and then we moved into an office and, I mean, that story is inside of you uh, and you want to draw that out. Uh, and it's almost like you take the person on that emotional sort of roller coaster and journey with you. I think storytelling, and I talked about importance of sales copy, uh, they're all intertwined. You want to make sure that you get good at telling stories. Uh, then um, you can put the FAQ. The part of the reason we had this FAQ is because when we got the merchant facilities, Westpac required us to answer a whole bunch of different questions. You know, what's our refund policy and all that type of thing. But it's a good idea to have uh, the FAQ, and I'll talk about it when we get to the video section, uh, using 
uh, videos to answer your client's top questions is a great strategy. What are 10 questions that a client uh, you hear most often and asks you, uh, and what are 10 questions you think they should ask. So what are 10 questions they do ask, and what are 10 questions you think they should ask. Record a video answering each one of those, and when you get clients asking you, instead of you giving the same answer over and over again, just send them the link and say, go watch this YouTube video, go watch this YouTube video. It's still so new that people love it. Like, I mean, uh, Gary's doing it for his print management company, and they're, I mean, what print management company do you know that would email you back a YouTube link uh, to explain, you know, what a, um, what are they called, Adrian, the loop, a loop thing? They're like a little magnifying glass. Like, I mean, we did a video for that, for Gary. Like, I mean, there's different questions like that. Uh, you know, what, what is the difference between uh, going to a traditional print house broker, a uh, traditional print house, rather than going to a print broker? Why would you go to a print broker? Well, just like uh, you might go to a mortgage broker because he's got access to a whole bunch of different um, lenders and he can get you the best rate. Similarly, you go to a print broker because he has access to all of these different printers and he can get you the best printing price. So that's we made a video about that uh, and then that ends up getting gets in our autoresponder sequence uh, and then it also gets sent out to clients as well as the questions come up. So um, using an FAQ could be helpful. Then you have your contact us. Um, of course, make sure you have your details in the top right-hand corner. Um, you know, I list everything there, phone number. You want to make it as easy as possible for people to find you. If you can, put a real phone number, like, I mean, uh, I think a mobile number. It can work depending on if it's just you. But I think have a real landline. I mean, people want to trust you. We have the phone number in the top right-hand corner. Does that mean we get tons of phone calls? No, we get very few. But I, the trust is there because people want to know what happens if it doesn't work. Well, at least I know there's a phone number I can call. Um, same with PO boxes. It's much better if you can have a physical address rather than a PO box. Like, I mean, what happens if I bought your product or service, the shit hits the fan, um, I'm going to feel more secure and comfortable at least if I know there's a physical place that I can go and talk to someone. So anything that you can do, like those types of things, reduces um, sort of the... The, the feeling that someone, you know, increasing that level of trust, which reminds me, like, I'll have a look at davidjennings.com. Um, it's all about uh, positioning, and we'll talk about how to get media exposure and that type of thing, but I'm going to scroll down here. I mean, here we go. Dave, featured in Financial Review, Your Trading Edge, Chart Point, um, Herald Sun, Smart Investor. Uh, you know, we go into the About Us page. Uh, and I tell my story. So this is more for David Jennings' branding. You know, talk about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and, um, you know, how I got started with Stuart and introduction of the Metastock Programming Study Guide and, you know, all of the different, you know, people I've seen selling the MCG um, featured in. Um, this is the stuff that you can't fake. Um, if you can do... What can you do to... You can't... That, that sets you apart from your competition uh, because you just put so much proof in there. Like, I mean, if you start to get your business written up in the local paper, um, you should take that out, cut it out, scan it, put it on your blog, put it on your site, put it on your About Us page, put it into your autoresponder sequence. Uh, uh, get mileage out of that material. Uh, it's, it's there. It's, you've, you've just got to start looking for it and think, how can I get more out of what I've already got? So they're the main things. I suppose when it comes to a website, you want to think in terms of your home page, uh, you want to think uh, a services page, think a testimonials page, think an about us page, think a contact page, and then the final one is probably think about a blog. Um, I'd, I'd have some component, and this is more from an SEO point of view, and we can talk about the way that the SEO component will work, but from an SEO point of view, um, you need somewhere where you can create uh, and keep adding regular content, targeting keywords. So you go after, you know, uh, Toowoomba exercise, Toowoomba gym, Toowoomba um, squash courts, Toowoomba uh, exercise rooms, Toowoomba, uh, and we'll, I'll show you how to create blog posts that target those types of keywords. So you have your core central part of the site, uh, which is all about, uh, you know, selling you and answering all of those questions and then we use the blog to help generate the traffic.